Now that we have defined the relationships between all the models and also completed the appdb context file, we are going to configure the SQL server to be the default storage of our app data. For that, let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. In Visual Studio, I'll just go to the Server Explorer. And then in here on the data connections, I'll just right click and then go to create a new SQL server database. I'll define my server name and that is the ETR slash SQL server. I'll use the Windows authentication and the database name is going to be e-commerce dash app dash db and then click the OK button. Now that the database was created, I'll just right click in here and then go to the properties. And then from the properties in here, I'll just going to copy the connection string. So control A, then control C, and then go to the solution explorer, and then go to the app settings.json file. We have said that we use this file when we want to store data related to the application, like for example, the database connection strings, the login configuration, or any other application related configurations. So in here, just after the allowed host, or maybe just before, I'm going to create a new section. And this is going to be the connection strings section. And then inside here, I'm going to have a default connection string. And these are just basically just strings. And then in here, I'll just paste the connection string. Now in here, don't forget to add the comma because otherwise you'd get an error. Then save the changes and go to the startup.cs class. So in here, go to the startup.cs. In here, inside the configure services, we have defined that the DB context file is going to be the app DB context. But for the DB context, we need to also define the data storage. So the way this works is that, for example, in the app DB context, you have the models. So you have the C sharp side. You have the app DB context in here, which has been defined, let's say, as the translator. So you have the C sharp side, you have the translator. But now you need to define the data storage. So the translator needs to know between which data storage and which C sharp classes it needs to translate. So for that, to configure the SQL server, I'll just type in here options that go to, and then in here, options that use SQL server. Now for the SQL server, we need to install a new NuGet package for that. Just go to tools, then NuGet package manager, and then manage NuGet packages for solution. Then here go to browse, and then search for SQL server. And then in here, select the first option, the Microsoft.NDT framework core.sql server. Then select the project and click install. Then accept the license. Then I'll just go to the startup.cs. In here, import the namespace for the use SQL server. And that is the entity framework core. And then inside here, now we need to define the connection string. And we are going to get the connection string from the appsendings.json file. And we have named this connection string to be the default connection string. So I'll just copy this value, the default connection string. And just come in here. And to get the data from the appsendings.json file, we are going to use the iConfiguration interface. And the value has been set to the configuration property. So for that, I'll just type in here configuration dot get connection string. And then just paste the default connection string in here. And then just save the changes. And this is all you need to do to configure the SQL server.